we have one of the last Windows 10 Mobile Lumia 650. Uh, we'll be comparing this with its awesome parallax, uh, uh, like you know, wallpaper on an AMOLED screen, to currently what we have in uh, Windows 10. It's very, very unfortunate that they have dropped support for such an awesome platform where you could see so much information at a glance. And as you can see over here, mm -hmm. tons and tons of information uh, at a glance, uh, whether it be news, weather, prayer times, your RSS, your feed, your social media. It was just lovely, you know, and uh, still the app support is there. Unfortunately, most of the apps have lost uh, life tiles. Windows Central was one of the great greatest apps, you know, to have. Uh, there were some other apps too, uh, like uh, Prime, uh, but they dropped support. Uh, we have some other apps uh, which were not uh, you, uh, Windows UWP uh, format, uh, but they do have some pretty nice uh, uh, tiles, you know. Uh, easy to press by a button again Microsoft Store lost its uh, life tile uh, and again you know it's very sad to see what Microsoft did with its own native apps they just updated and killed everything uh, no more life tiles and uh, the last one is uh, one of the AI that we have so that's in a nutshell uh, life tiles why I loved it it's just you get so much more you know at your glance screen uh, just one glance and you have tons and tons of information the best feature of uh, the Windows 10 mobile was its uh, glance screen you know so we have prayer times over here and uh, it's just beautiful you know you have the battery widget over here uh, unfortunately no social media apps so no telegram whatsapp instagram uh, snapchat tiktok um, so it's a beautiful phone you know it's as this beautiful aluminium casing front firing speaker um, single camera so let's go ahead and see and see it's it's snappy you know it's snappy than the recent snapdragon gen 3 uh, what do we have here so the first one our weather they're just beautiful uh, they update again you know uh, app support has dropped for uh, sorry lifestyle support has dropped for a few ones but in general it works like a charm uh, most of these apps, uh, sorry, I need to get the Wi-Fi rolling. Um, so they start updating the live tiles. Uh, second we have is for our news. Uh, uh, to do also has a very nice live tile. We have the prayer times uh, that also get uh, updated live. And that's just something mind boggling. So you do have some apps like over here on Windows uh, 10 as well as on Windows 10 mobile common apps uh, which work really really well uh, even though if it's not the life tiles you have such a beautiful canvas you know uh, elders children you know who want big touch screens you know they can easily access them uh, we had great tiles for all of these three apps Windows Central all about Windows Phone and MS Power user however everything's dead uh the apps even i'm not sure if they work any longer uh beaconet is one common app that i really love uh because uh, you do get this uh, automatic wallpapers you know uh, on this i can show you the feature if you press uh, accounts sorry settings and you do have this beautiful option of automatically updating life tiles uh i mean the background of the life tiles you can also see there is like some sort of transparency going on between the background and uh, between uh, the actual life tiles. If I scroll down, maybe you can get a better glimpse of what I'm trying to say. And it's just like floating on top of it. Um, so we'll come here. Uh, we'll go to the Beaconite app. And uh, sorry, I'll just try to close this. And again, uh, you can see the universal Windows platform working smoothly. Uh, you have the mobile app over here. And for please forgive me, I upped the uh, font size, zoom size to basically uh, make like a higher, uh, much more clearer, always on display. 
so there you have it uh, you know an example of uh, universal windows platform and uh, again coming back to our home screen uh, what are we currently looking at uh, the the two best apps that currently support uh, live tiles are none other than Spotify as well as Netflix and hands down to Flipboard which is one of the best 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 apps you know that support live tiles I have pinned specific topics like blog to gaming auto you know uh, cover stories and you can just see you know if something that interests you unfortunately I couldn't do the same with the the Windows 10 uh, as you can see the background was updated because I have Beaconite running on it so what we'll do is we'll just go back to start and uh, the feature that I love most just to make sure is choose tile full picture no tile picture and this just looks breathtaking you know you just keep on endlessly swiping keeps on moving and it just gives it a lovely experience so now that we are here we do have some Microsoft apps that uh, sort of work um, we do have uh, discuss uh, this one is group me unfortunately team doesn't work I was really hoping to use this device for my office but it just doesn't log in it's a shame uh, Microsoft gave up on it so early I do love using Evernote it does sync uh, sorry OneNote it does still sync with its uh, uh, basically uh, online servers the sync is not dead um, and if you just open any one quality add a page and the beautiful thing is you can do dictation so let's say sample oh my god such a beautiful experience typing on it you know the noise tuck 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 you know you have this pointer over here move the cursor around you have emojis and everything so oh my god it feels so good so let's check out the dictation which is one of the best rivals to google and apple Dear Microsoft, I am really, really sad to see what you have done with the Windows 10 mobile platform. I really hope anyone who looks at this sample feels bad about himself and forwards this to the Vice President and CEO that we need the Windows phone platform back with its lovely life tiles as well as app support. So again, this is in a nutshell, uh, just showing how awesome it is that I can still sync my notes uh, to OneNote. The dictation just works flawlessly. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the same over here because uh, I have uh, some privacy settings uh, and I've kind of like disabled uh, the, the settings. But again, you know, this is also one prime example of how things work uh, in uh, Windows 10 as well as you have the same settings similar uh, on the Windows 10 mobile so again you know uh, everything just uh, worked really well and if you go back to the uh, home screen we have some common apps like uh, the Microsoft uh, weather and uh, So some apps uh, do work, you know. Uh, let me try to get a hold of the Windows app. Yeah, seems like it's dead. <clears throat> yep. So it's pretty much dead. However, if I control the actual app and it works because i haven't updated it if you do update it you're pretty much screwed uh, you won't get the live tiles and uh, it's quite unfortunate that microsoft is killing its own amp 
uh, and again if you enjoy this content please don't forget to like subscribe and comment down on what exactly you would like to see more uh, between the windows uh, 10 i know it's a dead platform but again you never know uh, someone from the higher management sees it implements uh, they come up with a better launcher uh, they come up with a better uh, uh, like windows 10 uh, windows 11 has a great great opportunity to come back you know on mobile uh, since the asus uh, ali has been uh, launched and uh, again you know it's a shame that uh, they didn't really put more effort into their platform uh, the nokia merger uh, acquisition was just uh, again you know uh, i don't want to go into politics but you know who would love to see uh, nokia you know with a with an updated interface from microsoft with some microsoft services and uh, it it might turn out to be great you know like the next uh, uh, but again nokia has already moved to another uh, mm -hmm. platform and uh, again came with the same lovely always on display always on display on both phones this is essentially uh, the nokia team you know doing both of it so again it's it's very very unfortunate uh, on what happened with the uh, nokia and microsoft uh, however it's it's very unfortunate that they left such a great uh, tool on uh, apple you do see like some parts of it trying to replicate uh, the uh, microsoft uh, tiles and as you can see we do have in the latest update uh, something similar to what windows live tiles have quick at a glance uh, this is not my favorite most uh, it was more in the older ios's where you could have updates you know in a column you could just scroll down and you could see everything you know your meetings uh, and this is something that's uh, the closest that you can get to live tiles over here and uh, you can have quick access to information uh, unfortunately uh, uh, like uh, over here it's uh, more of a mobile portrait uh, you can't get to see a lot of information compared to what you can over here uh, just one small scroll and there's tons and tons of information tons and tons of widgets tons and tons of apps you know that you have access to and uh, sadly uh, you know that's kind of information you cannot replicate it on the ios even though with its uh, advanced uh, software uh, and uh, again you know uh, these translucent widgets are also going to go away very soon because most of the apps uh, that are getting updated they're getting the new ios treatment you know these uh, widgets uh, again you know it's a love-hate relationship they don't uh, work as good as uh, the uh, windows counterpart uh, because on windows everything was up there on your face uh, you could literally just uh, basically look at it what is your weather what is your uh, news says what does yeah prayer times are what is on netflix what's coming on spotify and it's just that one glance that gave you so much information unfortunately we don't see that over here you have to keep on manually swiping swiping to get more information and some of the widgets are broken uh, the only thing that I like uh, compared to Windows 10 is uh, it's uh, what you can say like a status bar or a, a notification or a utility bar you know you just swipe up from the bottom and that's just lovely you know uh, swipe up from the bottom and you can have access to all of it so let's compare Windows uh what did windows have so windows was pretty much top to bottom but uh the best thing was the double tap or press and hold you can basically pull it down over here you basically pull it from the bottom top and uh pretty much uh, the same so again uh good old memories you know with both phones uh they were just uh, like you know meant to rival each other but it never worked out uh, and again we have a news of Microsoft shockingly uh, maybe the AI was 
list the Microsoft announces paid subscription of Windows 10 users who want OS upgrades. So, yeah, you know, it's quite unfortunate. And do let me know your thoughts on uh, what we just spoke about. And uh, hope to see you on the next one.